What's up, Samonix? Welcome back to your favorite show on YouTube. It is time for Ionic App Review. A few weeks ago, I asked on Twitter for submissions for the App Review episodes, and I got a list for like the next 10 episodes. I picked three of the applications from that list that looked kind of nice to me, especially one application is a game made with Ionic. I'm super excited, super excited about seeing a game made with Ionic and an additional library, and two more applications that look to be quite popular and also are helpful. If you have developed an iOS Android application with Ionic or a progressive website then always leave a link in the comments. I will add it to my list which is by now pretty long which also means we will see a lot of app reviews <laughs> over the next time. So for now let's dive into our three applications of the day. Okay, first application of the day is called Live Parking Freie Parkplätze, which means free parking slots. It seems to be a German application, so uh, let's take a look at it. Actually, it looks pretty good from the outside so far. Um, nice splash screen, and you kind of know it's a German application if the first screen asks for a lot of legal stuff and information, so... Yeah, I accept the whatever, um, okay, yeah, at least it looks quite nice. The color scheme is nice, um, I don't know why, but I get like um, the location dialogue right now. And then I can finally, hopefully, use the application. Um, I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of immediately offering stuff like this, but at least it's free. It's a free offer, but I will still pick the free edition for now. So, um, once you get into the application, it's actually a pretty boring uh, list, I would say. Um, so I would expect a bit more um, primary color perhaps in the header, because there's really a lot of white in here. Um, I'll just pick any random German city right now, which brings me to a pretty cool overview. Uh, we got this search field up here and we got a big map implementation right in the middle. Um, at the bottom there actually this seems to be ads so I'm not a huge fan of uh, apps, uh, ads anymore. Uh, why can't I zoom out anymore? Um, I don't know. I'm, I actually don't know where I am in Germany right now. I haven't, I haven't seen this. Uh, somewhere there should be a big city, uh, not this one, that's not a... <laughs> uh, let's try... oh sweet Jesus. Okay, when I try to search I get to a new dialogue. Um, so this app is really about getting people to subscribe to or yeah, subscribe to this offer. I kind of like the little animation here. Um, if you get have uh, screens like this and of course it's fine to make money with an application, then try to make it really cool and I think this screen looks really cool. It's really, we got this inside area, we got a nice header area, the colors are matching everywhere, and then we got the uh, incentive button or the sign up button right here uh, with a little animation. Perhaps we could even make this more, more vibrant with a different color because that's the usual standard color in the application, so perhaps um, make the the sale button stand out even more. So how can I get somewhere? Uh, I don't find any free parking slots anyway. It looks like everywhere in Germany everything is already... Uh, I don't expect my city to to be in here. Yeah, and it looks like I really can't use the cert. Anyway, let's focus back on uh, what we see. We see this nice map dialogue again. I like the implementation of having the search above. I really don't know. This is a bit out of place. Um, perhaps I would make this smaller and put it to the edge because right now it's like nowhere. Maybe I would also do the lens into the middle and once you click into the field, it moves to the side. That would also be kind of cool. But otherwise, once again, clear action uh, in here. Uh, more, yeah, most likely. In general, I really like the colors used, and actually they're using the effect I recently <laughs> had in one of my videos. I think that's actually a default from Ionic that you can use to make this with the iOS header. So really, uh, I really like the color, the general, you see a lot of padding, um, I can switch these on. I like really their shadows here, which for whatever reason are n never visible within my screen. And on that list, 
Uh, I can't really do a lot. Okay, in Cologne there are free parking slots. Let's find a few parking slots. Um, the prices, the times. I really like this application. It exactly does what it should. It shows you free parking slots. If I will live somewhere where parking slots are supported from whatever, I guess I would see them. And I think it would be really helpful. Right now I don't know yet what's... Um, so the in-app purchase is additional intelligence, more search, no ads, stuff like this. So I can understand this. If I would drive more often uh, or live in bigger cities, I think I would really like this application. So um, if you're from Germany, check out the, this application. And if you're living somewhere else, perhaps think about creating an application like this, because I think this is a really beneficial tool. Great implementation, uh, great performance, great UI. I really like live parking. Application number two is called Scuba Doo a Diving Adventure. And I'm really excited about this one because I always wanted to see applications, especially games made with Ionic. And this one was made with Ionic and a library called P5JS. I think I heard about this before, but I've never seen it. I, I assume it's somewhat like Phaser uh, for creating games and scenes. So let's dive into this application. Um, so I'm really, <laughs> I'm really kind of excited to to see a game made with Ionic. It looks like this is the introduction um, showing me click and drag anywhere to swim. Okay, I can do this. Avoid enemies. Okay, collect good things. Um, the buttons here are actually a bit too much to the bottom, so always take care of that safe uh, area here at the bottom. They should at least be positioned, I don't know, like 10, 20 pixels uh, up, and it makes it har harder to tap them. But anyway, uh, good to have an introduction, and actually I really like that the introduction starts with this little video clip, which uh, for some reason lags a bit. No, on my device it doesn't really lag. So let's dive into the game. Uh, language, um, yeah, I'm fine. Uh, no, let's not do any tricky thing today. Okay, open water diver, easy. I would actually like to have a little animation here as well. Some, some fish swimming around or this... Uh, scuba do diver doing whatever um, Where am I now? Okay, um, a bit confusing maybe the first screen um, Maybe a bit too much information in here I would put just really you're on level one get started with your level now because there's really a lot of information here that I don't really know about yet, but let's try to start not sure the start button. Um, in general, the graphics are not super high resolution. Um, so on my device, this also looks a bit blurry and looks kind of like the YouTube play button. So I would make this maybe a bit more clear that you have to start your level right here. But let's dive into the game. Oh, oh, oh. I like the fishes. I really like, I don't like the sharks. This was good. Okay, now I got a little bubble and I can do this. Ah, oh, I want that. No. Ah. Uh, okay, what? Okay, that was pretty fast. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm quite good at games, yeah, as you can see. I, I actually would like to have these game screens without stuff like this. This really looks like traditional applications, information applications, things like we did before. And for games, I really expect to be more focused on games. So I would just leave stuff like this out if you make a game. I really don't know what it's for. Yeah, it's for the menu, but you don't really need the menu on that screen anyway. Uh, if I want to restart, I get a little ad. That's fine. Scuba Doo needs to make money as well. I can really understand that. And then I'm back here. Uh, I get my life back in about an hour. So really nice implementation for an indie game. I got some divers in here. Um, really interesting combination. We got the Ionic slides in here, most likely. We got a scene perhaps in the background. And when we got all of this, which I'm not sure if it is CSS and Ionic stuff or if it's from um, P5JS. Perhaps just the game is a P5JS. Watch videos for free coins. Okay, that's fine. And things like you usually see. I, I really, I'm not sure, but I don't like the menu in this application. It just feels out of place. The rest of the game is really cool. Uh, it's amazing that it works like it works. Tutorial. Okay, that's a game tutorial, not my tutorial, of course. 
this menu is really something I don't think you need uh, like this. There's also a store, of course, so I've, I really like that we can see Ionic games uh, like this. Yeah, there are a few things that I might do differently or that could be improved, but in general, hey, that's a game made with Ionic, and I think that is really awesome. So you should definitely support I Ignacio Dechain. I uh, hope that's right. Um, there's also another game he made we will maybe check out in the next episode, but for now, everyone take a look at Scuba Doo, leave a nice comment and rating, perhaps purchase uh, a few coins or whatever here to support another indie maker, which has shown us that we can build Ionic games. Third application of today is called Bosa, I guess, because the developer's uh, name is Bosa. It's a roommate finding app, pretty clear. Um, I like that the application seems to be for iPad as well, but yeah, as we can see, it's just the stretched version of the iPhone. Um, yeah, you can do it. I don't know how useful that application is gonna be on iPad. I already see in the screenshot some issues right here with the titles inside the buttons. So really, if you make an iPad application, then try to have at least a somewhat uh, responsive design um, to match the screen. But anyway, let's check it out. I like the app icon. Uh, it looks like a company in Germany. Um, well, okay, we got a look in screen. <coughs> Sorry. Um, we see a lot of colors on this screen, uh, and I think actually a lot of default colors. So that blue and that is like the third color, the third default color of Ionic. Um, I'm not a huge fan of black ground, a black background uh, in general, but I will try. So let's try to create an account. No, uh, well, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of all these big, um, these big images. Uh, the back background, uh, devtactic.com. Please wait. Um, maybe this application uses Firebase. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, verification code sent, so let me check this out. I like that I only have to enter my email and get this verification code. I would really like to just press a magic button now to go back to the application. So 7173, um, I would really like 7173 to... Uh, uh, um, so let's quickly talk about another thing while I wait for a new confirmation code. On this screen, there's really a lot that could be improved in terms of the colors, in terms of the padding, in terms of the button styling and making clear, in terms of the sizes of the input fields. I just thought about maybe it would be a good idea to not just give you uh, information or my thoughts on this, but really pick a page like this or uh, any of your submitted screenshots and try to re-implement them in a kind of better way. So if you're interested in like videos about transforming a page like this to something that I would enjoy a bit more, leave a comment below because I think that could really as well be a very beneficial episode next to the general app review and a review of the flow and applications and things I noticed. I really, I really like the idea. I'm really excited to see what you think about it. Oh, sweet Jesus, I got the right code. Did someone refer you? Uh, no, nobody. Um, password. Okay, more information. So uh, adding all this information up front is really like very boring task. So I would rather just skip to the application. Let me just complete everything before we get into more. Again, on this screen, uh, really a lot of things. The, the Simon up is quite complex. Um, so this doesn't really look too good to me with all the different options, the buttons right here. And the most important button is really like the smallest button on that screen. The done button should really be like the primary one on this screen. Everything else is just a bit of information around the service, but this done button is really the most important part. So always make it stand out and clear to your users. Now it's interesting because what I've seen from the screenshot and what I see now right in here looks totally different than the sign up flow. The sign up was really, let me be honest, kinda ugly. This now looks completely different. We got a cool little toolbar here, although I, I've rarely seen like the hamburger icon inside the toolbar. That's a, that's a kinda new <laughs> way of designing it. Usually you should see this uh, up here. Um, uh, actually, I'm so surprised. I don't know what to say about it. It's just it looks different from the toolbar icons. Um, 
it's yeah I can access it quite easily but usually I would still expect it to be up here and have a clean nice toolbar at the bottom um, and there would actually be enough space up here um, of course because I use quite strange criteria uh, and signed me up for being inside hub <laughs> Um, there are like a few animations so when you press the profile it comes up slowly from the bottom looks like a custom animation and this screen is actually once again so cool with uh, you got like little drop shadows and a lot of love inside these screens um, but now maybe put like some first of all some introduction screens into the application to show the cool images from within the application and then of course make the whole sign up flow perhaps with these step indicators from angular material or you can just do it yourself uh, to show where you are inside that sign up flow because there were like four or five screens in which i had to import some information um, and now i can it looks like a bit of tinder for um, people to um, i actually don't want to click too much in here uh, so people get confused so everything in here is actually quite nice not too much information i would put the button up here to have like the regular menu um but otherwise most of this looks really cool oh i saw a little uh, item line here i don't think that this line should be in that place uh really don't need this but otherwise we see now the primary color and as i said inside area a totally different picture megan please i don't want to have you in my video anymore uh, a totally different picture so make sure you make your sign up the first impression users see from your application as good as possible with introduction screen perhaps like the animation we see in the scuba do diver application and in general show the user how many steps there are they need to take until they can finally use your application all right and that's already the end again of our ionic app review show We've seen three great applications today. First application, the German application. Uh, I think it was really well designed, especially the um, purchase dialogue screens. Um, the colors were matching. Uh, the general UI was really good. So I highly enjoyed that application. I didn't like the, the ads too much, but of course every app needs to make money some kind of way. And this application uh, focused on the subscription part, mostly and ad free and stuff like this. So kind of a little combination of the two things. The second application was a game with Ionic. I really enjoyed seeing a game made with Ionic. The only thing I didn't like about it was like the menu icon in that game screen so the combination of game and ionic wasn't yet perfect in that application but it was an indie game made by a developer uh, i guess all the graphics made by him or herself so that is really an amazing job done and i hope in the future we might see more ionic games i really want to do something on my own but i don't have time for it i'm really maybe at some point next year i'm just doing a game with ionic third application uh was kind of strange because it looked like the inside area was developed by a completely different person than the outside area i will really ma make sure that the first impression of your application is great if people start it and they don't like the sign up screen they will just delete the application and that's it and i'm not going to install it again always make sure the first impression is really great think about what you want to show perhaps a cool screen the first uh, important functionality of your application a little introduction and then just make the first sign up steps pretty clear and don't have it like another page and another page of information and the user is really frustrated at some point I hope you enjoyed today's episode of the Ionic App Review. Once again, if you got any own applications, leave them below. And also let me know what you think about um, taking a screenshot from an application or a page and then live doing it in a different kind of way to really show what I would do differently on certain pages of applications and not just uh, telling you what you should do. Let me know in the comments, leave a like, subscribe to the channel as always, and I will catch you next week or the week after with new ionic tutorials and content so have a great week and build some awesome application i will catch you then so happy coding simon